Hey, Patriot Dave here, and we got the first time of uh, having Ivan on here. Ivan, I welcome you to the show. Thanks, Hal. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. And he responded, and we kind of lost track. He went through some stuff, and but yeah. he got back to me. It's kind of weird how things work. <laughs> yeah, I went out of town for a little bit, so that was then. This is yeah. easier. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of confusion between the 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 three May calendars that we know because we know the we know the dirty side, the the evil. You know what? Uh, mm -hmm. Switch some calendars on us and. I guess that does kind of relate to some timelines, right? I, if you change the calendar, you change some timelines. So what can you tell us about the the calendars and like where we're at now and maybe where we're going in the near future, I guess would be the right way to put that? Well, right now, it's kind of like in a paradox, you kind of just, I mean, it's similar to like the Bible. They make that confusing. <laughs> so right now it's confusing too. <laughs> so that's right. <laughs> So where we're heading is where you as an individual wants to go. So if you want, um, you know, you create your own reality. So, uh, but if you want to connect to the, what's happening, like the elites are still here. I don't think they're going to be leaving anytime soon. They, they, they shift out, they do change. Uh, but I don't believe, I mean, if they fully leave, first off, I don't think they would leave a place like this uh, too quickly. Uh, but yeah, the, the past is kind of scrambled up, as you can see. So people see multi different different timelines. Uh, you just go by what you feel, what timeline you're connected to. <laughs> so it's going to be different for everybody. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. We're and definitely multi-dimensional. Yeah, it's, you go by what, like, the, so the future, you go by what you feel, what your future is. So yeah, it's a little bit... You know, wherever you feel that you can survive, let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 and it's hard to put in just a few words because it's it's so abroad. It's yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. It's um, not to worry about all the propaganda going around and just focus on what you need to do. That's what matters most, and you'll get through it. You focus on the world events, what's happening to that person, what's happening to that person. They just want you, to, it's just a distraction from yourself. So. Good point. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I say that a lot too. Yeah. And, it's not, yeah. It's nothing wrong with looking at this stuff, you know, like it's happening in the news. It's nothing wrong, but just don't get too, well, you can know, do whatever you want. But that's right. too wrapped up in it. <laughs> yeah. And that's the other thing people don't realize, you know, they, 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 the people that watch the news are the sleeping people because they're believing what the news is telling them. Most of us don't watch the news. So I, I, you know, yeah. if it, just look at their ratings, I mean, they're like down 70%. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people are waking up. <laughs> well, it's changing. It's going more on like YouTube online. And, but that doesn't mean that the war is over just yet. <laughs> Good just, point. You know, yeah. Cause well, even some of the YouTubers, I uh, question yeah. some of their motives. So. Yeah. Yeah. They might not be aware of who's running, who's operating them especially when they go from a small amount of followers to huge, you know, right. Which is kind of, uh, you know, questionable. Yeah. That's uh, especially like my channel gets shadow banned. I mean, I think I have every band they got. <laughs> it seems. I've seen now. that. Yeah. And yeah, I seen that. I'm like, wow. Yeah. My well, numbers. my numbers kind of stay where they're at, but that's I don't. Good. That's good. Yeah. I, I don't go too much off the numbers. I still just do what I do and whatever uh, happens, happens. I right? do the same thing, but it's like when I look at it, it's like, oh, something's not right there, but that's okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, they, they make it look like you ain't got no followers. So nobody will listen to you. <laughs> exactly. That's, yeah, that's just, just as well. <laughs> so uh, I guess I wanted to get, you know, they call it Noah's flood. I want to call it the flood of the earth. And I, I want to see what you what you see on this and what your perspective is on this through spirit. Okay, so um, you're talking about what happened in the past during the cataclysms. Yeah, like the energy of it. Yeah, it definitely did happen. The the, the you know the continents moved. Uh, from what I'm feeling from it, uh, you know, Zelantian. You know, just they became more like humans, and they just you know that's more like the elite. Atlanteans are more like the the positive and negative elites, basically. 
and it just became more like us. We were here doing our thing, you know, regular humans, and they wanted to control us and dominate us, and uh, they became more like us and started to you know, destroy. I think they wanted to destroy the planet. Actually, <laughs> that was what's the vibe I'm getting from this. So there was several floods in the past. Uh, it just got worse and worse until they got destroyed. So they were, but yeah, uh, like. Egypt was flooded, I believe. Uh, a lot of things were, but yeah, Noah's. I mean, obviously the the animals. That's like allegory, I guess, with Noah. <laughs> it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was just. It, does that does the Egypt one look like the last one that you can see, or because I know the United yeah. States was flooded too. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, um, was Egypt the last one? I believe so. Babylon was flooded, so. Um, Everything was practically flood, not everything, but most things. Mm. Um, Egypt was Egypt because it because it's history. What it was there for? I believe was allowed to survive. You can say so because I could have easily, you know, buried also. But yeah, was, Egypt was uh, you know it, how we see it mo in the modern you know the desert and all that was what was left after the cataclysm, Stefan. So yeah, I would say that. Yeah. But, it's like Babylon was hit first. Of course, that's can, pretty. Can you give me a, a somewhat of an idea on it? Again, this is so confusing because of the the different calendars and all this. Um, so the United States, like when was it? How long ago was that in what we call reality, which is fake too? But oh, we mean for uh, United States, like when it was formed and everything, or. Yeah, like when it was flooded last, because we know there's buildings here that wasn't built in the 1800s. That's a crock of baloney. I mean, these buildings were built uh, definitely with some technology that they didn't yeah. have in the 1800s. Much, yeah, much older. Yeah. Or, yeah. Um, well, I do feel like there was a flooding, I don't know, 1700s, maybe not a cataclysm flooding, but there was a flooding in 1700s. Oh, wow. Uh, at least that's the vibe I'm getting from that. Uh, but before that was, of course, around the Atlantean times and uh, 1600s also. So you can say it was being, you know, nurtured for us to, you know, not all of the United States was being flooded, but quite a bit of it was. So, certainly. Yeah. Uh, Which kind of leads me to the next thing I was going to get to. So we know that there was mud floods, especially in the United States. They would wipe out the whole the whole civilization. And then, you know, 100 years later, they come in and start digging it out and say they built this church that they didn't even have the technology to build. So I was kind of curious how the water flooding came in with the mud flooding because yeah. they purposely did the mud flooding. Yeah, but well, the, um, um, it does feel like there's a, a form of a Tatari, uh, was it the Tatarians, something similar to them was during that time also. So they had some, some kind of, you know, advanced technology with them. So, which was of course buried in history. And that was around the 1700s you're thinking with that or? Yeah, definitely. Around 18, late 1800s when they got when wow. they erased, it seems, or something like that. Before modern civilization came in, <laughs> it seems. Right. So, so can you specifically say if Texas was involved in that? Yeah, it's definitely, yeah. Definitely. No, because yeah. yeah, you'll see buildings and it you, you just shake your head. You're like, there's no way in hell they built that in 1800s or, or early 1900s. No way. Oh well, yeah, the, yeah. Obviously, it was similar to the pyramids. Yeah, they're just putting that. So yeah. So, well, I'm feeling like maybe not the buildings there, but there was architecture down here in 11, like 1100. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's that stuff looks that old, but. Something like that. <laughs> there was definitely some uh, modern structures, as, as we would say, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, those cathedrals look pretty advanced, and I don't think we can really duplicate that right now. No, sir. Yeah, yeah look at that. What is that? What does that say? <laughs> right. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I, it just, all this stuff bottled, and, and not too many people talk about it. There's a few people out there that do, but yeah. I think people need to get ready because this energy is raising on this earth. I mean, it's yeah. raising very uh can you elaborate on how you feel about the energy right now while we're on that uh yes it's uh you know people are connecting more to their ability more of the spirituality is becoming taken more seriously 
of course it comes with corruption because the church loses its you know vibration and now you know of course i think that the church influence is already there um you know with the larger spiritual groups so and they kind of hold you you know they hold you in it because it's all about your belief system so it's allowing your be able to believe anything <laughs> obviously some people are gonna have trouble with that right you're right but the yeah. mainstream spirituality is there to hold your like you're talking about the mud floods and everything like that some spiritual groups might not be able to be open to anything like that some might be but you know it's yeah. just yeah because the major boy of uh, spiritual groups have a their own agenda obviously oh yeah so. It, 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 pardon me but I, I don't like to go back but on the mud flood what civilization did you call it that they wiped out the, the uh like in the united states this last time well i believe there was some to, uh to, was it called the tatarians yeah they were i believe they were here i mean they're yeah they're all in europe also here some of at least some of them are here now are they kind of more of the positive uh energies yeah I'm, okay uh they're part of like the some of the Atlantean energies of architecture like what you say the cathedrals and right things like that i believe some of them are here so of course some of the masonics of course were here obviously that's more of the darker side more of the gothic energy so you know like yeah the, the churches are built or some of the buildings are built as just uh even the skyscrapers are even yeah even the skyscrapers are pretty advanced when you look at i them. know yeah in the 1920s it's like what's that it's like I, I really see people like us you know standing up in these churches and taking them over i really see that in the near future i really do oh uh, yeah that'd be interesting we're gonna go in there and turn some tables over or whatever i, I i'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work but uh, i mean really you can have church at home by yourself and that's that's what people need to figure out you can yeah, have church right here right now exactly you don't need but, no somebody telling you to give them 10 of your money that's well, yeah. The, well, the way to go is just keep 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 talking, basically. Just keep spreading your message, basically. Yeah. And don't believe this. Out. Don't believe that. Give me yeah. your money. Yeah. That's the hell the, with all that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even some spiritual groups, they don't say it like that, but they do have like a certain way of thinking, mm. and that does kind of uh, make it hard to evolve when you're seeing things so much differently than most people. It's like, where do you go when you're connecting to the astral plane, which is, you know, magic and, you know, just pretty Beautiful. much the opposite of this place. Exactly. Glorious, you know. Anything your imagination can connect with, that's the astral plane, so. Right. And Yeah, and you can make it be what you want it to be. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're getting there. I, I feel the curb. I really do. I feel it real strong. Yeah, individually, yes. Yeah collectively for then some that will allow it yes yeah and how you know how does that roll out i don't know it's probably going to take a couple two or three or four years to to do it collectively probably huh yeah quite um yeah this well spirituality ha has to connect to more mainstream somehow and that needs to link into it yeah so let me take it more seriously i don't know how exactly that's going to happen but I mean, it kind of is already, but it's still kind of in the shadows. There's a lot of little groups, I guess you'd say. There's there's a lot of them. Yeah. I mean, when they all combine to one, they're going to be unstoppable. <laughs> yeah, it's it just it's going to be, yeah, very. When all this is taken more seriously, yeah, it's going to be a strange land. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all these different type of voice systems and just uh, it's less control than what we're going through now that's for sure <laughs> right yeah so, we're right. so powerful yeah we are we are everything i mean we are we are part of creation we we are creation <laughs> yeah. yeah so i was curious on um it the, I, I don't like so there's seven portals in the earth which are very significant to the earth's energy and to a lot of things some people say it ties into the, the seven seals of revelations in the Bible. I'm not sure if it does or doesn't. It, it, it probably does. But I know there's seven significant spots. Have you ever looked at where they was at uh, on the earth? Uh, Donnie, uh, I would say it's like the chakras of the earth, like within the earth, you know, the, you know, just like you, you know, you have, to, you have the root chakra by the Antarctica and you, 
I would say you go up from there. That's at least the vibe. But of course, some might see it in different places. I guess it all depends on the individual. Some people feel the chakras are in different places and, you know, and that also. So, so it's hard, kind of hard to pinpoint them other than the, obviously, you know, where the base is. Well, it go it all, if you pick it up on one part of the world, it most, it all links into the earth in the center of the earth, it seems. So at least that's. My yeah, it's mind. kind of like us, even though we, you know, we have these, what they call chakras, I consider myself, yeah. you know, one spirit. Yeah. And uh, I, I really, I know cause and effect can, can cause you some illness and, and that kind of stuff. But yeah. for the most part, we are one. I mean, we are yeah. whole. Yeah, it's a collective consciousness that is uh, kind of separated <laughs> in some ways. <laughs> so. Yeah, they, they dumbed us down and we let them dumb us down and, and, and a lot of stuff's happened, you know, uh, a lot. Well, it's major. We're coming from major lessons, major challenges. That's why the world continues. Is what we learned from the from the here being here. As difficult as it is, what we get out of it is still very important. So it's just hard lessons. That's all. Yeah, and and I don't look at them as good or bad no more. I used to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just say it was an experience, you know, because right. that's what we did come here for. Well, yeah, I feel like we're. We're here to move up to a level where, you know, individually, we're here to accomplish some kind of lesson. So when we leave here, we're using it. We're using it now. We're just not aware of it in the higher dimensions. But it does give us more of a clearer point of view in the higher realms of what we're trying to do. So, yeah. And if you lost some people there, what he's talking about, like when you're sleeping in, in, in your dreams and during the day, you, you do yeah. things. I mean, uh, yeah. I, I know some of us, are taking our energy at night and, and we're going to help the children i do know that yeah we're working in the higher realms and some people are connected to the children yeah definitely right um that's yeah that's of course around the children's a lot of tricks or energies and yeah just not the most pleasant energy so but. it's not and it, it sure will mess your mind up honestly it, it, it yeah. will give you a twister yeah. Uh, so what's your thoughts on the uh let's let's use the dumbs i, I wasn't really going to go into this but i don't i don't whatever usually take notes when i go into these Where, whatever you feel yeah sure uh so uh how are you feeling on the dumbs um i mean mm -hmm. I, I know one really good truther did give some numbers um like uh, worldwide he felt they were cleaned out you know this percentage i was wondering how you felt by looking at them well, that's a little bit tough to say. I mean, they might have been cleaned out, but when you see the degree of manipulation on our reality, it doesn't mean they don't have more out there. That's, you know, they're keeping our reality going as unless you have a major company that's manipulating people to go out of business and close down for good because uh, you're using these corporations against us also. So um, they might be cleaned out, but are you seeing much? Are you seeing the difference? Uh, <laughs> yeah and I, I yeah i guess it's something you don't necessarily see because obviously we're not down in the tunnels in our with our physical bodies yeah um, but you know if, if they are mostly cleaned out uh, as gene said mm. um, but above the earth it, you know he said the dumbs as far as like the really dirty nasty beans are are about 90 percent cleaned up could be, huh? um, but well, when you see our more, well, we still have a battle with ourselves to clean out our own, you know, so we have a clear view of what we want. So even if they are cleaned out, we still have a lot of individual work to do. So, well, yeah. it's ironic that you said that because he said above the ground, we're only about 40% cleaned up. So exactly. It's like, it was exactly maybe, yeah maybe all those i mean people are opening up more to the spiritual the astral realms and that's that's huge but that that's like a whole nother round of you know is we're not out of the woods yet because we have to figure that out <laughs> so, yeah we we uh, do have a lot to figure out we really do and yeah. that's why we're here though yeah exactly yeah so, it's, so we're not saying something bad it's just saying no. we, we have some no. work to do we still have more to discard. Yeah, the yeah the the, the mission isn't over yet. You can say, yeah, exactly. It's just yeah, that's a good way to put it, huh? Yeah, because we when ourselves are still 
I like the government system where that becomes more, you know, friendly instead of the time, you know, as it is now and more of the secrets that come out, which would be nice or more of just the corruption to when we start seeing what's behind the shadows, that's when, that's when you know we're, we're moving in the right direction. So, so. Yeah. And, you know, I always use the, the, you know, they, they always say that the Christ, and I always say that Christ consciousness in here, and, you know, I don't know if everybody does it because we all got our own yeah. own way of thinking and believing. Yeah, and, some people would tap right into that easily. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And I, you know, like you, you don't na really name a, 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 re a religion per se because you just go off of spirituality too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Usually it's like the Catholic religion usually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For obvious reasons, <laughs> you know, because there's a dom, you know, cause what's, what's going on with the Vatican. So yeah. That's usually the one I'm talking about. <laughs> usually. So, oh, I bet you've talked about them a lot. <laughs> a lot, yeah. It all links back to that Vatican, really like a sound to it. So, at least religious, religion. I mean, of course, there's other religions too, but they're still playing a big role, as you can see. So, yeah. So uh, I, 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 we covered quite a bit of spirituality there, and uh, you know the. Uh, uh, um, so we talked about the energy on the Earth rising quite a bit, and it just kind of to me it seems like it's just kind of like a slow, you know, yes. because we're hitting the twenty four thousand year cycle. Also, mm -hmm. can you talk about what you see in that cycle? Because you know we're we're in that cycle for sure. Well, yeah, more of the spiritual knowledge will come through. Doesn't mean we'll have all the secret, you know, the mysteries will be solved here. But yeah, we're definitely going to more of a individually, some people are going to a higher frequency, definitely. And it'll, it'll connect more to their higher their higher selves, their higher dimensional selves, and more of a, kind of go into like a kind of like a Greek society almost eventually, you know, like a council more like that so eventually you know we can have conversations with people instead of just online online is helping but uh, yeah you know having physical connection is nicer of course we're becoming more astral so right you know we're being trained to be more astral because we're so distant from each other <laughs> well, so, well yeah people don't know we, we're telepathic anyway we just yeah. uh, some of us haven't opened them doors up yet and yeah, when you open up the mind, the telepathic mind's not for everybody. <laughs> it's because it's just, I mean, some people can do it, but it's like, do you really want to open up? It's like open up your closet. It's like open up your house to other, you know, it's like, yeah, this is deepest, darkest secrets. Here it is. It's like you don't have to show everything, but they will pick other people will pick up on it. So that's yeah. kind of dark. Yeah, of course, the dark. We're not we're getting there. I mean, more so like individually, it's all everything's individual collectively we still have a while to go it seems <laughs> yeah uh and you probably you probably get to ask this a lot too and but uh do you see like an, an ebs or some type of letting people know what what what's going on behind the closed doors kind of sort of what's been happening with these scumbags oh with the uh, elites what they're doing um well, I think one thing is they want to make it look like that the war is over and everything. Oh, it's gone. We're all, you guys, you know, you have nothing to worry about. So there's that. And they do realize we are changing. We are becoming more knowledgeable of them, but we're still, still feel we are uh, not mature enough to understand them. At least that's what I'm gathering from. Uh, but, but that's changing. Um, but still many star seeds here are still healing their adolescence. Because when you're a higher dimensional being incarnate here, so you're used to higher dimensions, but you're, it's like you're used to, uh, it's kind of like being a kid. <laughs> and you come here and you get mature. It's not that easy though. No, it's not, right? I mean, I mean it's- Yeah, it's, you come here and mature. <laughs> so, it's easy, but it's not. I mean, it's- No, oh, no. All this- stuff they throw at you i mean not to mention what they've done to the food and the water the the air i mean it doesn't stop they've they've thrown rocks at us since we were kids babies yeah the, well the, the world was developed for that you could say i mean it, it was capable of it didn't mean it had to happen but it, it could handle it. other worlds probably couldn't handle 
something like this. So yeah, and so I, I do see a really good shift coming. I just you know obviously it's it's hard to say how exactly how it's going to go, but like you said, individually, yeah. individually, yeah, and then they're going to figure out eventually how we do yeah. this, yeah, because. Um, yeah, because those are open up spiritually. You're, you're all sc everyone's scattered around the world. I mean, everyone. Some, some people are, know each other personally, but usually you're just scattered. It's not like it's like a whole city of just enlightened people. <laughs> oh there, wow! Maybe there Wouldn't is that, that somewhere. <laughs> that would be a glorious city now. <laughs> oh wow! But, yeah, that would be it. A... So people are so understanding. Like some of these spiritual groups you can go to. But still, some of them have, like those that are running those uh, like spiritual get-togethers communities, some of them still haven't healed their own stuff yet. Yet they open up a community. It's like, so you... I, I ask that same question too. Like, <laughs> how the hell can I help Joe stand on the corner if I haven't helped myself? Exactly. In you know, in here. Yeah. Not that you don't try to help, you know, a homeless or uh, something like that. That's, that's not true. Yeah, some, some uh, at least one or two... Yeah, they feel like they can open. I mean, I guess they're meant to open up these facilities, you know, communities, and that's fine. But it's up to the people to realize, like, wow, this the owner of this place still has a lot, not to be egotistical or anything. They have a lot to work on themselves, too. So, yeah. But, but some people that go to those communities get pulled into it, kind of turns into a hive mind. So, oh, the leader knows everything. He has this, and we're just going to listen to him. And that's kind of yeah. what's happening now, too. So, so uh what, what what about nikola tesla have you ever uh have you ever like uh, connected with him and yes oh you have maybe every now and then yeah maybe maybe you can connect to him and share some of the technologies that that we know he made and is he on earth now in a physical body by the way if he is i'm not aware of it i don't think so i think he's a little bit bitter how he was treated hmm. uh feels a little bit it's not about the whole Edison and him. I think he's over that. It's just that how his energies are being used against him. And he doesn't feel like he's, I mean, once in free, he's basically like a star seed being basically. Yeah. And he just had his wild ideas that might not have been able to be built at that time, but he's still, you know, pioneer of it. And um, yeah, he feels, I guess he felt a little bit naive at that time. He thought he had friends and, course he was so connected to his technology it wasn't his people skills weren't you can only do so much it wasn't really you know he got betrayed a lot as you probably know <laughs> did he ever say who took him out was it like the, the you know the the evil ones is that the ones that took him out um of course that's you're going to get it's almost like the kennedy thing <laughs> it's like uh you're going to get it feels like, well, he was betrayed so much. It feels like he just died of old age, but there might've been someone that poisoned him possibly. It's not really clear on that one. That one's a little bit, you know, I don't have hundred percent on that one. Yeah. It could have been somebody that was like visit him every once in a while. It could have been someone, a random person that took him out. Yeah. He's not going into that. <laughs> Some things you just can't get. Well, yeah, no, you totally understand <laughs> that too. You know, it just, I don't know. It's like, you, know. you can ask some you can ask trump questions and sometimes he'll go like this and ask exactly. no 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 exactly uh with tesla it's i mean it's almost it was uh, yeah some people that just cross over they just they don't they just don't want to go into it they just leave it huh. as a mystery because you know it's only to prove it anyway really when you think about it so yeah yeah like marilyn monroe well of course that was kind of obvious yeah <laughs> and kennedy's kind of obvious when you look at that <laughs> yeah 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 for sure <laughs> And um, so how, how does the, like the SSP programs, to my understanding, most of them are pretty well handicapped now. Uh, you've kind of looked into that too, right? Like on the Mars and in the moon. Yeah, I like definitely that. they're, yeah. I feel like people are individually are definitely remembering and they're, some of the, they're going through the trauma. Those that cannot let it go for anything. So they've, and that's okay. I mean, it's it's rough. You, it's hard to get information on it, but I believe it's definitely like a parallel Earth or obviously the alien connection. And usually, those I remember I feel like they have a trauma connected to them. Really? At least a reason. Some of them, not all of them. Yeah. Of them. 
I think we all have some kind of connection to it in some form, but it doesn't mean that you're out in the battlefield. Well, yeah. And I, you know, like the moon, I think most yeah. of the dark ones are gone off there. Right. Is, is that the uh, same thing you see? Uh, it all depends on that. I think there are still some there. I don't think they're ever really gone. <laughs> it's like, I, you know, um, it's, yeah, there's no way to prove it, of course, either, but uh, yeah, and it's, the, my connection with the moon, I do feel like it's part of our reality. Like it is, you know, our third dimension. So we can't see the beings that are here. Chemtrails are part of it too. And there's other elements involved with it, but so we can't see, yeah. Cause they bombard us with stress. So we can't see the multidimensional beings, which we, I believe we could, if they just remove all this stuff. So yeah. So, and, and what about the chemtrails? Have you looked into them to see if they've slowed down? And cause you know, there's a lot of rumors that there's not bad stuff anymore, but I think it depends on where you're at. I guess so. Uh, I don't, they shouldn't be spraying at all. The, I think it does have tech, nanotechnology in it. It does it definitely has an agenda. It did, that's one of the elements they're using. So it does have cancerous energy connected to it. Obviously, I'm not going to say that, but yeah, uh, but, but it is keeping the veil of reality, you know, so we can't see who's here. I think mean, that's part of it. So it's a little bit of elements here and there, but I don't, if they're, if they're so healthy, I don't know why they would be doing it. <laughs> so, well, uh, you know, for, there is a good thing they could spray, which, you know, yeah, um, I guess so. HQC, yeah. I think it is. I guess um, so. But I don't know. I think it depends on where you're at. Um, you kind of oh. get full stories, you know. Yeah, I mean, the world went on. Well, that we know of didn't have them before. <laughs> I think you never know. <laughs> yeah. They're probably Ken Trillian also for history, probably. <laughs> we just never saw it, you know. Because wow. the alien element's always been here. So it's just tapping into it isn't the easiest, but they're definitely here. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they're walking in human bodies and you can't even tell. No, so, I mean, no, <laughs> and no. unless you, unless you're open, you know, no, there's no way to really tell unless they, I mean, of course you can feel alien energies with certain people. Of course, everyone has some kind of connection unless they like tap you on the shoulder and tell you who they are and you can feel it because they can telepathically connect to you. But you have to kind of like, you know, make that connection with it. You connect to the real thing. So well, you know, some people say they have good implants from, I'm like, are you, what, are you, are you kidding me? I know. You have good implants because they're good. I know, that's, well, that's like good chemtrails. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, it's like good within the CIA. <laughs> well, well, yeah, because, uh, you know, creation didn't give you an implant. So no, how can anybody that. on this earth say they're good? I, well, there is a thing of like alien infusions, but I see that as more as energy. I don't really see it as an implant. At least that's okay. my version of it. That's my version of it. And that's Somebody a way for it. them to communicate better with you or let you communicate with them? Yeah, alien infusion, it just help your energy field, help you connect. You know, you ask for like a Palladian infusion, like one, two percent, just help. You know, it helps some people. Some people are very sensitive. They can pick up on it. Not many people are. Gotcha. And you can see a difference. Of course, if you get a reptilian. <laughs> yeah, good luck like, with that, like, right? It's like, you know, maybe I would reverse that one. It all depends. Sometimes it could be good, depends on the person. Uh, but yeah, it just basically is like sending, you know, love to you, you can say. You know, right. It's like a yeah. blessing to you, kind of sort of, right? That's I mean, the way I look at infusions from aliens. But it sounds a hell of a lot better than an implant. I implants mean, don't sound good. No. Anything like that, chips don't sound good. No, nothing. Yeah, none of that. I'm not into any of that. Yeah, chem, any kind of chemtrail, I'm not big on that either. <laughs> so, well, yeah, because you know, I was SSP and I, I have some memories of it. And, mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, I had to do a past life regression to get, or, you know, uh, the, the session to get some of that. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't feel hampered over it. it it's not going to stop where I'm going. You know, I'm just going to keep on moving. Yeah. So, but you need to discover it. You need to go in. Well, when you did, just to release that, I don't know if it was trauma or what it was, but it definitely is. Just so yeah. I can, so yeah, because past lives, and that's technically a past life, technically. Technically. And so you can go forward. Yeah. So you can connect more to your abilities, your intuitions. So that's good to, that's why all this is, why all this spiritual work matters. Matters a lot. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, because like, people, you know, I say this all the time. People don't realize they can split your spirit 10% yeah. here, 10% there, yeah. 10% there. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's like your your house, your your internal garden. It's it's you just don't teach you this stuff, you know, in schools or anywhere. You have to figure it out. So so just, you know, how much work we have to do. I don't like to use the word work, but, you know, it's easier. But, yeah, how much we have to figure out about ourselves. It might not always be pretty, but it's you're, you're mature enough to see it and to pick up what you're carrying from another lifetime. Like it was a trauma. How many people have traumas from another lifetime? As many do. And I have no idea. Yeah. And when they become open to talk about it, they can release. It doesn't mean... If you're not thinking about it, that's burdening, that gets, you know, holding you down. Um, but when you're ready to explore it, you're ready to really, because it can help you too. Yeah, absolutely. It can help you, right? Because, yeah. uh, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. it might help you bring some of the wisdom that your spirit has exactly. to you and yes. yeah. knowledge you're learning. So, yeah, yeah, it's just complicated. Yeah. I mean, it yeah, really with, is. <laughs> well, well, all those control systems, you just remove all of that and just let us figure ourselves out. That's what the aliens do, basically. <laughs> they just, right. hey, I'm picking up on this. I see, you know, elephant beings and all that. Do you guys see that? I think, nope, that's new. You know, it's that's that's where we should be at. So, <laughs> and I, I you know, I, the, the good off worlders, I, you know, how, how did they, get to where they're at now and you know it and where where we're at in this prison kind of sort of um that's probably the right word to use yeah but we're breaking out of it but yeah well we still have some time <laughs> as you can see <laughs> yeah well, as soon as the government becomes uh, more peaceful and kind and actually means it <laughs> it's, instead of just right. like, oh we're nice and we're a council now but we're still controlling it's like okay we still have a while for that but that does help because government is part of our collective consciousness. It is still part of us. Uh, it I is. talk about here and there just because it's it's still, you don't have to look at it, you don't have to care, but it's still like a reflection of us. So, well, yeah, they make decisions, you know, for exactly. us in many cases. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so even if they call themselves a console, you're saying, even if they're, you know, just keep an eye on them, right? I mean, no different yeah. than. Yeah, it, if we go into a council type of direction, like a Greek council, where it's just more free, that doesn't mean that we're out of the woods. I mean, well, this has become because you know, people can be very positive and still be manipulative, <laughs> as you can tell currently in our state of spirituality. Right. You know? Yeah. So that's almost the worst kind. <laughs> it's like, wow, yeah. you're so positive. I feel so good. Yeah, but there's some controlling energies there, some kind of manipulation and all that. It's like, like we're going to a whole nother level of, uh, you know, so yeah. I get, I get the vibe of like Bill Cosby. It's like, he was really funny. Nice yeah. guy. I mean, I grew up with a guy and it's like, I'm hearing all this stuff. It's like, he can't, he can't win. It's like, you know, but that's spiritual, modern spirituality is kind of like that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. When somebody says, do as I say, not as I do, that's when you start questioning, right? <laughs> You know, exactly. we yeah. want to head towards the bright light. We, we want to yeah. go to the light. And, uh, I, you know, I, I always say this. I don't I don't follow man's orders and directions. They can F off. I don't. I yeah. don't. That's the way it should I, be. Yeah. I follow here. Yeah. And everybody says that, you know, I'm like a rebel. No, I'm a child of God and I'm going to do what the hell I want. No. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes you have to compromise some depending on the situation, but. Follow your heart, yep. and you're there. You're there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. There's Don't let insane. nothing stop you from being a creator, because you are a creator. Yeah, it's uh, it's not easy, as you can see, <laughs> with all the stress no. of life and everything. Yeah, um, you're right. It's very tough, uh, but that's part of the learning. Uh, yeah, exactly. And once once we get our wisdom back um, as individuals, that's that's where the, you know that's powerful too, because I mean, you know, our, our pineal glands, for example, is basically a diamond. We need to shine the light on the diamond and let the diamond shine. Yeah. And we will see. Yeah. So, well, one of the reasons why we're here is that the higher dimensions slowly became, you know, they're, you know, at a positive level, found their own darkness. 
or didn't know it was there or whatever, however you look at it. So this world is there to harness that darkness. So for darkness to show itself. So to, for the higher dimensions to be higher frequency, you know, so you can come here and discover your darkness, basically. And many do that, as you can see. That's why the, the, the villains always, not always win, but it seems like they're everywhere because it's, it's here for them to, you know, show that side of them. So you can't always do that. And yeah. So yeah, yeah. I I really do. I, I feel more positive about the way things are going now than maybe 10 years ago. Yeah. Because we were going you know, straight to a dark hole, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. They sure yeah. were trying to push us in there. And yeah. Yeah. We're wow. definitely I mean things are improving, definitely. Just as slow. And it's just finding what you need to do on your personal journey. Uh, it's basically to keep your sanity. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you pay any attention to like Africa and these other countries? I guess sometimes you do kind of oh, look what? at Africa and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there. yeah. What, what are you seeing like in Africa, uh, the continent of Africa now? Is it still pretty dark? Yeah. It is, yeah. It's very, it's still, I mean, there are some lifestyle improvements. Cities are improving, but still hidden. Yeah. It's still, um, I think South America is doing better, but not too much better but africa obviously it's just yeah because you know, africa has all the slums and everything and just you don't hear about it india also yeah so yeah so well, and they but, say like the children of africa like when they're born or you know other than the starving part we know but the yeah the being that they have are, is very powerful until they dumb yep. them down That's yeah I mean. well a lot of early civilizations was created there <laughs> That's one of the reasons why that's happening. It's kind of like, that's not part of the agenda. They don't want them to, because I believe the DNA of many of the Africans is very, yeah, high, very like some of the best DNA on the planet, probably. Right. And obviously they're suppressing it. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. It's like, that's where a lot of plating energies are. So it's like, you know, some people there just don't have to eat at all or, it might be starving, but some of them, their physique is so much better than the rest of us. The rest of us are just, we could do everything we can. It would be nothing like them. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Well, I, you know, I think that's a pretty good uh, spot to stop there. I think we covered a lot of spirituality. We touched a little bit on the mud flood because I was, I was just always curious about that. A lot of people ask me, I'm like, yeah, they wiped out the whole civilization. And then, you know, they went and dug these buildings up like they built them. They didn't build shit. They, they yeah. undug the buildings that were built, to, like you said, probably in 1100s or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, there's definitely a couple of civilizations there. Uh, it does feel like some of it has a Mayan energy. It doesn't mean it's all Mayan, but there is a Mayan vibration there. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, that's very interesting, though. Yeah. I guess yeah. we could go more in depth sometime, I guess, uh, sure. and start picking little you know spots out where we see the flooding at i guess maybe yeah and use your intuition it's there there's areas where it's just going to be blockages trying to tap in because they don't want you to know it's like it's like astrally that's off limits like you can try but you're not They're very good at what they do they really are seriously it's like, like egypt and all that we know it's older but we don't really have details we don't really know what it looks like i mean you're in your mind you can get some kind of vision but you don't know exactly i know so all we can do is just Use the best you can with your intuition. Yeah. What you feel is important. So if you're big on the, the mud floods, is that something that you're like passionate about? Or yeah, uh, well, yeah, because it's part of our history that they try okay. to hid, you know, hidden from us like anything else, you know. Okay. If that's because if that's the case, if you feel connected there, then most likely had incarnations there, most likely, if you feel that you do. Probably yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, so I'm kind of tied to it. What it is, I'm not sure. Yeah, if there's curiosity, there's curious curiosity there for a reason. So yeah, you can let that. You know, like you can sleep on it. Um, it will it will come in will piece by piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a past life, it does the same thing. I mean, yeah. you know, I had a little piece of one, and then it, <laughs> it kept coming. It kept coming stronger and stronger, and more and more. Yeah. And, it's we got to we got to you know keep our thoughts in the right place and all of that knowledge is going to come to us i mean yeah uh, not it's, knowledge 
it's similar to well yeah there were i believe some you can say et civilizations were here in that area but as human so it doesn't mean it was advanced civilization but it could have been but yeah <laughs> go anywhere with that <laughs> yeah pretty 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 amazing right so well i'll, I'll end the recording there i appreciate you uh okay. coming thanks. on yeah thanks for having me on and everybody have a good evening <laughs>